Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to channel 33 RPM. Welcome to my brand new bar. I just finished building this space. In today's video, I want to show you my entire hangout space, including this new bar and the home theater, and show you how it all fits in with my music room. Check this out. Channel 33 RPM. I will take you down the stairs here. Excuse the lighting. On the wall, I have all these old gig posters, including Kiss there from 74. These are all local ones. Turns out one guy has made almost every gig poster in town over the last 40 plus years. Uh, oh, Motley Crue. This is uh, one of the first concerts I went to. The second concert I ever went to is uh, back in October 87. So here's the basement. I'm going to give you just a quick overview of the whole basement, kind of pan around here so you kind of get an idea of what's what and how everything kind of works together. There's the bar, the video game. And just around the corner here is the home theater in the back there is my music room. So let's start with the bar. This was my winter project this year. I worked on it for like January, February, March into April. And this was an old storage room. And I figured why have an old storage room when you can have a bar at the risk of making this look like an HGTV show. He wrecked my rack room. I wanna show you some construction picks and progress here. This is the storage room. This is what the bar originally looked like and kind of starting to take this wall down and figuring as I go kind of what I want to do. This is my crude planning. I was kind of drawing there, trying to show Sherry where maybe the countertop could go. And in this image thinking, well, let's take that, that bit of the wall down and open this up. And this is kind of what it looked like when it was finally opened up, kind of starting to build the ceiling here over the air ducts that were all up there, finally getting the drywall up and slowly starting to take shape as you can see here and man sanding this thing was a pain i had to put those plastic tarps up so i didn't get dust all over the basement and all over my records and electronic gear and whatnot getting the countertop here and getting the kitchen cabinets in and finally enjoying a drink here with sherry and my friend chris so let's talk a little bit more about some of the things in the bar and kind of how I put that all together and how it looks now. These are Ikea cabinets. Those are shallow base. They're 15 inches deep and they're back ordered for the longest time. I had to wait like two months for them. And uh, there's the, the beverage fridge. Not fully stocked, but okay. Well, it's kind of somewhat stocked. Some, what's that, Miller Genuine Draft, some Diet Pepsis, of course. Crown Royal and Diet Pepsi is my it's my drink of choice. So up there, there's a popcorn maker and some beer signs. I've been collecting these for years. Every time I go to garage sales and find some old beer signs, I'm always grabbing them because yeah, I, I like that kind of stuff. As I said, there's the popcorn machine. Just got that one. Um, if you know how to use these and you got the right ingredients, you can make real movie theater popcorn at home, which, uh, which we do chill out and watch movies margarita <laughs> margarita machine anyway um can I get some more more beer signs big rock brewery out of calgary alberta uh i got a budweiser budweiser sign that's another garage sale find some time ago this is cool this is the bottom of a whiskey barrel when we lived in edmonton we had this old flower pot thing in the yard that kind of collapsed and i was gonna throw it away but it was an old whiskey barrel that they've been using to grow plants. And I looked at the bottom of it and this was there. This is from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, and this batch of whiskey was made back in 1955, I think that says. We've got some bottles up here, Jim Beam, of course. You know, every payday or so, I just try to buy a new bottle just to kind of have it here. That Wayne Gretzky whiskey is terrible, by the way. There's my favorite, Crown Royal. Crown Royal is uh, distilled about an hour from where we live in Gimli, Manitoba, on the lake, on the shores of Lake Winnipeg. So it's a local whiskey, but I, I dig it. I love it. And just different stuff here for when people come over, right? This is the tequila we got in Mexico a few years back. That stuff is so expensive here, but uh, it ain't that expensive down in Mexico. There's some cheaper tequila there as well. So let's move around here. It's almost a reverse bar, right? Like I didn't have room for a traditional bar with stools in front of it because the stairs were there, but you can kind of sit behind the bar and watch the, the movie screen over there. This is my arcade machine. This used to be a Capcom bowling. I found this again at a thrift store probably a decade ago for a couple hundred bucks. 
and I had it in the garage for the longest time and it was acting up. And I was talking to a local guy here, he owns Phantom Amusements, which is an arcade, and um, he actually did this conversion for me, changing it from the Capcom Bowling to one of these 60 in one video game deals with all the classic games, including Pac-Man. And he modded it out and put some LED lights in there and put the custom marquee and the custom buttons and joystick. And man, he did a fantastic job. The whole conversion, I forget what it was, like 400 bucks. So of course, being the movie theater or the, the basement theater, got some uh, posters up of some of my favorite movies, Poltergeist there and uh, Pulp Fiction. And down there is a place for the cat by the fireplace, of course, and the dog. The cat is Ozzy, the dog is Hendrix. And then over here is the, the home theater part. I can't tell you how many hours we spend down here. I mean, either hanging out myself with friends or, you know, fam the family. We kind of have a family movie night on the weekends as well. And there's the screen. So that's a hundred inch screen. Of course, they always say when you buy a, a screen, you always wish you had something bigger. Now I'm like, oh man, I should have bought a 110 inch screen. But it works. And then here's kind of the stereo setup. On top there you have my Project Debut Carbon Turntable. That one is equipped with an Ortofon 2M blue cartridge and stylus and upgraded the, uh, the platter to the acrylic platter. That you see there and beside it I have a FOSI, I believe that's how you pronounce it, a FOSI Audio um, Phono Preamp. Uh, it works okay, it's one of these Chinese things. Is less than a hundred bucks, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it does the trick here. And down here, I got my Yamaha uh, receiver. This is the model RXV485. It's 5.1. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Spotify Connect, AirPlay, all that sort of stuff. So I do stream uh, music using that occasionally. It sounds okay. In terms of you know controlling all our television and streaming and whatnot, we use an Xbox. And in terms of speakers, all these front speakers are Fluence. We got the Fluence center uh, channel speaker. We got the Fluence towers. Just down here too, I have a Fluence subwoofer. I don't know, I think it sounds, I think it all sounds really decent, really good. And behind there, is the projector that is a BenQ model HT2050A. It's a short throw or medium throw anyway. It's capable of projecting at a hundred. It's capable capable of projecting to 100 inches at eight feet away. So I dig movies. I mean, I collect records, but I dig movies and all that sort of stuff. Camp Crystal Lake, Friday the 13th. I mean, obviously, I love horror, as you can tell here. There's all my Blu-rays there, a lot of horror stuff. I got the new Scream, a bunch of stuff there, like Halloween and some Die Hards, Christine, a bunch of movies. And there's some music concerts there too. Down here, this is more of the DVDs and a lot of music stuff here. Tesla, Queensryche, Halford, Priest, etc. And uh, Skulls, I love Skulls, particularly the, the Mexican ones. When I go down there, I tend to grab uh, a skull, <laughs> a skull or two, and some video games and books, a lot of rock books, rock biographies, autobiographies, that sort of stuff. Some of the Sherry stuff is in here as well too. It's kind of a mixture of things. Another skull. This guy's my favorite. Carved, uh, carved out of wood. Where did I buy this one, man? And this guy came from Cancun, from what I remember. That record behind there, The Breakfast Club, that's Sherry's. Unfortunately, those autographs are forgeries, we believe, as far as we can tell, but whatever. Some more movie posters, The Thing, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, science fiction slash horror, along with Halloween. Man, I think John Carpenter was on such a roll there from like 78 up until the early 80s. It was all good. Anyway, as you can see there, that's an overview of the entire basement. And right here through the door, you are familiar with this. This is the Channel 33 RPM World Headquarters. This is the music room. And this is what you see uh, every Sunday when I'm sitting at my desk. This is the stuff behind me, including my PV6505 mini head, Harley Benton 412 cabinet loaded with some Celestian speakers. This is some vinyl record overflow there. Uh, the Humming Guru Ultrasonic Record Cleaner. Just uh, Joan Jett, I got her to sign that one for me when I was like 14 or 15 years old. All my gear here, some compact disc box sets, Kiss comic, Alice Cooper comic, the first Kiss Marvel comic, and then 
all my gear. Sorry if the light's a little bit bad here. I have my uh, Node uh, music streamer, Sony tape deck, Marantz, integrated amp and CD player, and my my pride and joy, my Technics SL 1200 turntable with the channel 33 RPM cork mat. I love it. I'm gonna do a whole video again revisiting my turntable because I think it's the last turntable I'm ever gonna buy. And you rarely see this. This is always kind of out of view of the camera, but this is my compact disc collection. This is my CDs. And these were awesome um, media storage units from Ikea. And unfortunately they discontinued them, which kind of sucks. Beside that, we have the desk I sit at. This is where I typically record my videos. That I, I use a Mac Mini, uh, one of the newer ones, and uh, I have those ring lights. I used to bring out lights all the time, and it became such a pain that now I just have those there all the time, so I just flick them on. I also bring an umbrella light out when I do the videos, just to light up the room a little bit. And uh, there are some, those are just pre precision acoustic speakers. Those are the ones hooked up to my computer. And these records up here, this is kind of records I've recently got or records I've recently been spinning or records I want to listen to again, that sort of thing. And below those uh, precision acoustics were uh, Fluence speakers again, that's what I use with my, uh, in the music room. And here's the closet, just uh, whatever in here, just some box sets, a bunch of cassettes, um, record sleeves. And just coming out here, I got, uh, there's all my guitars on the wall. That is a Godin, Canadian company, great guitar manufacturer, uh, Pepsi Cola crate with some uh, stuff I'm kind of just going through and enjoying. And there's another amp that's a PV6505 Plus monster amp. I'm not going to show you all my guitars today, but you know, I got a Fender Stratocaster, I got a Fender Strat, I got a Gibson Les Paul Studio, which I think I actually want to sell or trade. I'm not really a Gibson guy, but uh, yeah, there's the room. That's uh, <laughs> that's all there is to it. The music room is smaller. It's like 10 feet by 10 feet, but I try to do my best. I try to make it all fit in here and I don't know, it kind of works for me. Anyway, and this is again the part you don't see when you come out of there. They got the whole home theater here. Okay, I'll show you this too. This is the last part of the basement. This is the laundry room. Nothing to see here except for <laughs> this. Is, this is where we wash our clothes. So there you go. That is the tour of the whole hangout space. The, the bar, the video games, the home theater, the music room. It's kind of... 18 year old Frank would have absolutely loved to have a setup like this and uh, 48 year old Frank <laughs> loves it equally. So thanks for sticking around for the tour. If you dug this video, I think you'll enjoy my series called Vinyl Dens, where we check out cool music rooms from across the vinyl community and around the world. I will leave a link to that playlist below this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep on spinning.